this video will show you how to sample a grid and so what that means is say for example I've got a database here and I want, I've got longitude and I've got latitude or I've got my x and y but I don't have a z value um, but I've got a grid of my topography how can I sample that grid at all of these locations to get the exact z value at this location and so how I would do that is I would go grid and image utilities sample a grid and so here I choose my x and y values your choice I'm going to choose lat long just because um, well actually no reason let's choose x and y because here x and y are designated as my x and y values grid sample channel so I'm creating this channel I'm calling it z or I can call it etopo because that's the topography data I've got where to get this topography data, you can easily get it in GeoSoft with the Seeker of the menu. Uh, check out my video on how to extract topography data. And then I'm going to go here to find my topography data. So I save all of mine in a folder um, called eTopo, or you can call it topography or SRTM data, so that I can easily find it. And so I know that this one here is a file for the whole of South Africa. And so by chance my coordinates here are in UTM-34 and here are in UTM-34. But GeoSoft is pretty good that if your coordinates in your database are different from your grid, it can still sort it out. It can still correlate them. But if you are struggling with that and you're not getting values in your database, then maybe convert your grid to be the same coordinates as your database. But it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to click on this grid file. I'm going to click Open. And I'm going to click OK. And you can see here, I straight away have a column of the topography data at all of these points. And you can use this, as I'll show you in the next video along, to calculate your IGRF.